Do you live in Florida and you're wondering just how much of the eclipse you're going to be able to see on April 8th, 2024? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to tell you exactly how much you're going to be able to see of the eclipse. But first, I want to say I believe something awesome is just about to happen for you. So be on the lookout for it. And now back to the video. In today's video, I'm just going to take a moment to talk about the upcoming eclipse that is occurring on April 8th, 2024. And I'm excited about the eclipse. Uh, I've never gotten to see a total eclipse before, and I'm actually going to travel to where I can see the total eclipse. And I made a video about that and if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it up here in the corner. But if you are not able to travel to see the total eclipse and you live in Florida, you might be wondering, well, how much will I be able to see if I'm in Florida? Well, the good news is you're going to be able to see a partial eclipse in Florida on that Monday. On that Monday. And let's take a look exactly how much you're going to be able to see. I'm Pulling this information from the timeanddate.com eclipse um, website, and I'll link this down in the description so you can take a closer look at it and take a look at the times. But this website, we can see that there is a gradation. Not all of Florida will receive the full amount of the eclipse. Uh, obviously, none of Florida is going to get the total eclipse. But as you get further south in Florida, you're going to unfortunately see less and less of the eclipse. And let's take a look at it to get an idea of the timing of the eclipse and how much um, your area will get to see. So let me zoom in on this for a moment so you can see it. And so if you're in the panhandle, you're gonna see more of the eclipse than if you are in North Central Florida or in Central Florida or in South Florida. So we're gonna take a look at this to see the actual percentages. And let's start with the, um, let's see what they've got here. So in Clearwater, and of course Clearwater is over here in this area near Tampa, you're going to see an obscuration of 58.72%. That's pretty precise. So figure about almost 60% of the sun will be covered. And that would cover this whole area, everything from Tampa, St. Pete, all the way up to Palm Coast, uh, Daytona Beach, Orlando, Kissimmee, all the way down this way. So that's this band is kind of central florida let's look at the next one fort lauderdale for lauderdale is going to see about 47.23 percent of the sun covered and that is this band down here which includes miami so even within the band there's going to be less and less of the sun covered as you go further south but there probably won't be that much of a difference between fort lauderdale and miami and let me take a moment to mention, do not look at the sun directly. Even though part of it is going to be obscured, it's still bright enough to permanently damage your eyes. So you need to make sure you have eye protection. I've linked some down in the description. And if you've got the right kind of device, I've got some eye protection listed on the screen. Go ahead and order that. Order it right away because you need to get it by Monday. So take a look at that. Let's look at some of these other locations. Uh, Jacksonville is going to see 64.43% of the sun covered. And so that's this band up here. And of course, the higher you go and the further north on this band, the more of the sun that will be covered. And let's see if there's anything else we can see here. And then of course, it's got Tampa and Miami in there. As we said, Miami, is 46.21%, whereas Fort Lauderdale is 47.23. Um, if you can tell the difference between 47.23% of the sun covered and 46.21% of the sun covered, well, you've got better eyes than I do. Make sure you protect those eyes. Let's look at the timing 
for Monday. The partial eclipse is going to start this first part of Florida. It's going to touch the first part of Florida, the tip, at 12.35 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Remember, the panhandle of Florida, for the most part, is in Central Time. So there's going to be a difference in time. So that would be more like 1.35 p.m. Eastern Time. But that is the start of the eclipse. And then the last part of Florida, the partial ending, will be at 4.20 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So go outside and take a look during that time period to watch the sun get covered by the moon. Have your eye protection on and be ready for it. This is uh, a great event. It's going to be exciting. Tell your friends about it. Share this video with anyone you know that lives in Florida to remind them to see the eclipse on Monday, April 8th, 2024. Don't miss it. I'm not going to miss it. Make sure you're there. Let's all hope and pray that the weather is good and so we can actually see it. That's the only other thing because the, the eclipse is going to happen regardless, but whether or not you see it depends on the cloud cover. So let's be ready for it and protect your eyes. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comment comments. I'd love to have you as a subscriber and a member. Members get high priority on the videos. They get to get see the videos first. They also get higher priority in getting their questions answered. And there's a bunch more perks in being a member. So check that out. And other ways you can support the channel is to buy your eye protection through the channel. Or there's other merch there, including Professor Capco merch. You can buy my book, um, my award-winning novel, Say Goodbye. That's linked down there in Amazon. You can get that. So lots of ways you can support the channel, and I really appreciate it. And that's all I have for you today. Happy eclipse hunting. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you.